Well, Tom, obviously a fantastic evening here at the Abbey Stadium watching one of the 16s take on Tottenham. Uh, I guess a very valuable experience. Yeah, it, it's been really good for the lads. Um, the gate that was uh, announced towards the end of the game was pretty impressive. I know um, being here for many years, there was probably a few years ago in the in the League Cup or, or whatever it is where we're home to Dagenham was probably close to that crowd for the first team so um, that's been really good for the lads obviously all the build up before the game in terms of having family and friends and things like that um, in the stand and what have you will hold them hopefully in good stead for when they get that experience again whether that's in the FA Youth Cup ultimately whether that's in the first team and that's obviously the whole point of this evening to try and give them an opportunity of putting them in that uh, putting them in those pictures if you like, if ever that does come to fruition, to, to yeah, yeah. that, that, that they'll be able to pick, so yeah. they'll be able to do it. Obviously not an experience that they get to experience on a, on a regular basis, but one I, I guess that will live long in the memory, and one, one I guess it has been building up for a few weeks now. Yeah, I mean, some of the lads, they're all buzzing for it, I mean, you've probably got, I don't know, five or six of the starting eleven that stand behind Newmarket Road and every <laughs> Saturday and shout Richard Money's Amber Army and whatnot, so for them, it's a brilliant experience, obviously they would have... Uh, would have loved to have perhaps had a better scoreline to reflect what I thought was a decent performance against a very good side. But that's, again, part and parcel of their learning process. And hopefully they'll, uh, they'll develop from, from tonight and um, yeah, we'll see that next time. Hopefully. In terms of the game itself, playing a team like Tottenham as well, I guess it brings good experience within itself. Yeah, it's a different type of game to what we're used to. Obviously the pitch is bigger, the pitch is magnificent. Um, their ball retention is, is very good um, in comparison to the usual games programme that we have. Therefore, in terms of the concentration for time stints without the ball, it's obviously longer. So can they track runners? Can they stay switched on? Can they communicate in their units? Things like that, which is something that probably isn't too apparent for that length of time in their usual games. But I thought they dealt with it quite well. Second half, I thought they did well. Um, again, they may be dropped off a little bit. Um, because they were 2-0 up and I thought when we got it back to 2-1 they had a chance of going and the penalty, I didn't see it but it's one of them so I wouldn't say it killed the game because I thought Spurs were the better t better side um, but it had a little bit of an effect in the momentum that perhaps they could have gone on to maybe gain a bit more confidence. Speaking to Richard Meek after the game, it's certainly something that he'd like to have repeated and I guess from your perspective as well, that, that certainly is the case. Yeah, ultimately it's one of them, mate. We want to, we take them on tours, we, we try and put them in scenarios like we do tonight to... Um, like we've said really, gain experiences. If we can do that for more boys throughout the system, ultimately that's gonna that's gonna benefit them in the long run. Whether they get through, well that's down to them, that's down to us to help them. Um, but ultimately I'd imagine there'll be all of the boys in there will remember tonight for quite a long time, whether that's the first time and the only time they do it or the start of many times they do it. So so yeah.